This is the second part to the lab setup guide for the exam 70-411 based off of the lab manual provided by the Microsoft Official Academic Course Administering Windows Server 2012 R2. Basically everything is done except we have not yet installed the upstream WSUS. Uh, We're going to get into that now. So I have my Hyper-V open, and the first thing I'm going to do is sign into my domain controller. Click on my green, oops. Click on my green button. And I'm also going to need server 2 for this. And we're going to need to log into server 2 as the administer, administ administrator under the Contoso domain. And now I'm going to minimize this, turn this on, move this over, and move this over. Okay, so here's my domain controller. I'm going to sign in as Contoso slash administrator. And then I'm going to go over here to other user. Log in as the Contoso Domain Administrator on Server 2. So I'm going to minimize this for now and just focus on Server 2. I want to open up my Windows Explorer folder and we're going to create a file folder called updates and that's going to be on the root directory so I'm going to double click on my C drive and right click new folder updates And I'm just waiting for server manager to come up. I can close out of this. Now you can see if I look down at my network icon, I should have active internet. So I'm just going to double check. Click on my icon, my Windows icon. Yeah. Click on Internet Explorer. Minimize this. That's going to put in Microsoft.com. Don't use recommended settings, and then OK.
Okay, so we definitely have internet access because I have Microsoft.com able to come up, even though it's on the security enabled. This enhanced security configuration is just, that's why I'm getting all these pop-ups. So I'm going to close out of this. out of my Internet Explorer and go back into my server so I do know I have access to the Internet. <clears throat> okay, now we are going to go to Manage, Add Roles and Features, Next, 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 and I'm going to scroll all the way down to Windows Server Update Services, WSUS. Windows Server Update Services. And then we're going to click on Next. Go back. I never checked it. So I didn't see Add Features. Okay, there we go. Add Features. Now it's marked. Now I'll do next, and next, and next. Next. And here we're gonna type in C colon slash updates. And I just wanna make sure I have it updates instead of just, just update. Yes, updates. So here we have C colon slash updates. And then we're going to do next, 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 and then install. this run. I'm going to pause the video for a moment. Okay. So now that it's installed, I'm going to click on close. And now we're going to go into tools and go into Windows Server Update Services. And go ahead and click on Run. I put this on pause. wait for this to finish doing its thing. Okay, it looks like we are done, so I'll go ahead and click on close. Now we're going to click on next. I don't want to join the update program. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And we want to Synchronize from update, Microsoft Update is already checked. I'll click on Next. And then Next. And then Start Connecting.
Okay, so now we're done that, we're gonna go ahead and click on next. All right. We're gonna go ahead and click on next. And this gets a little bit tricky. I'm gonna scroll down. Then I'm going to uncheck everything first. Okay, so the things we need to check are Windows 8.1 and Windows Server 2012. So I'm going to scroll up. Windows Server 2012 R2 and then I need Windows 8.1 There we go, Windows 8.1 and then next Okay, and then next, and we want to make sure that this is checked, and it is synchronized manually, and then next, we want to begin the initial synchronization, next, and finish. So if I minimize this, you'll see it is synchronizing. You see we're at 13%. I'm going to let that finish. And I'm going to pause the video while this finishes. Okay, so now that we have finished, everything looks like it's good, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And that's going to be the end of this video. The next video is going to start with Lab 1 deploying and managing server images. So stay tuned.